Hello and welcome. I'm Elizabeth Cook. Tonight we're hearing reports that ICE could access Facebook data to track down undocumented immigrants targeted for deportation. Night beats Betty Yu with the ongoing trouble for Facebook. First, the Federal Trade Commission announced it's investigating Facebook's data privacy practices, saying in part, the FTC is firmly and fully committed to using all of its tools to protect the privacy of consumers. This announcement sent Facebook's stock down more than 5% to levels not seen since July last year. By the day's end, shares rebounded, but they are still down more than 15% from last month's high. Also today, a group of 37 state attorneys general issued a demand for CEO Mark Zuckerberg to explain Facebook's data protection practices. The news follows a report from Ars Technica that Facebook saves extensive call and text data made by certain Android users. The company clarified in a blog post that it only collects this kind of data on users who opt into the feature on Messenger or Facebook Lite. An intense criticism has been mounting since news that the data collection firm Cambridge Analytica, which worked with the 2016 Trump presidential campaign, gained access to the personal data of more than 50 million Facebook users. Zuckerberg has taken out full-page ads in American and British newspapers to apologize for a breach of trust in the Cambridge Analytica scandal. Russell Hancock is CEO of Joint Ventures Silicon Valley. They need to be right in the eyes of their customers because remember in business the customer is always right and their customers are now voicing real concerns. Today a new report by The Intercept said ICE uses Facebook data to find and track suspects. In one case while looking for a man in New Mexico last year, ICE was able to get back-end data revealing a log of when the account was accessed and the IP addresses corresponding to each log Tonight, Facebook said ICE made a valid legal request for an investigation involving an active child predator, and it does not provide ICE with any special data access to assist with the enforcement of immigration law. A spokesperson for ICE tells KPIX5 tonight that this report that it uses Facebook to find and track undocumented immigrants targeted for deportation is baseless. And it says that during the course of an investigation, it can seek subpoenas, warrants, and court orders to legally compel companies like Facebook to provide information that may help with their investigation. Live on the Night Beat, I'm Betty Yu.